Guys, World War 3 has some serious problems. As you've all seen in the past week since the open beta released, World War 3 had a ton of connection problems. And honestly, I kind of expected this because the game has always had server issues, but what I didn't expect is for them to be this bad. Basically, in the past few days, the game has been a loading simulator with players spending hours just to connect to a match. There has been tons of 151 errors in the main menu that stop players from searching for a match and let's not forget about the try again error when initializing the interface, which a quick fix would be whenever the try again error appears, wait for about 30 seconds or more and then try again. My game seems to connect most of the time after doing this and maybe this is gonna work for you as well. And let's not forget about the playing with friends can be absolute pain right now because the invite system is basically broken and doesn't work 90% of the time and on top of this there has been many more issues that just ruin the experience overall. But don't get me wrong, whenever the game works, it's fantastic. It's pretty much the only game I wish to play. It has amazing gunplay and really impressive customization and really makes for a great FPS, especially in these dark times for this category. World War 3 just provides great experience overall and can really stand out. But that doesn't excuse them from the fact that the game is broken right now. And the worst part about this game is the fact that they beat it their player peak this weekend and because of these problems the game has received tons of bad reviews which is totally understandable, players just want the working game. So World War 3 really has to step up their game to improve and fix these things and we already know that the devs are working tireless for this, I personally talked to some of them and they are just great people and really wish the best for this game. And the first action taken for this was they put up on social media a post about the known issues for the game and what they're working on right now to fix. I'll put that in the description so you guys could check it out, but I'll go over the things they are aware of and what they're working on to fix and improve. And the list goes as follows. Players stuck loading initializing interface. This is the most annoying one because it doesn't allow you to connect even to the menu. Server crashes. Players stuck on the map loading screens. Accepting party invites causes game to crash. Accepting friend requests causes game to crash. 151 error, something went wrong. This is pretty much the most annoying one so far and I think I got it like a billion times by now. Players being connected to the wrong servers. Players being disconnected from party service. Cannot invite friends. This is another massive issue that needs to be fixed ASAP. Playing with friends, it's always better and in World War 3 right now, it just doesn't really work. Players experiencing progression loss or lack of progression. Players stuck in lobby showing 55 out of 40 players. This is kind of a funny one. And lastly, some inventory delays, which I definitely experienced myself, but they're not as bad as they sound. And if you guys take a closer look at this, it really shows that the biggest issue is the servers, because they don't really hold this amount of players, and I wonder what would have happened if even more players would have joined this game. As I said, I know they're working on this, but they have to do it faster because players are leaving already, and that is not good for the future of this game. This is pretty much their third or fourth release, and if this goes bad again, I don't know how many times players will just join back. The game has massive potential and can really make for a great FPS, especially because it's free to play. People just don't want to spend 70 bucks on an early access project, so free to play is definitely the way to go when it comes to World War 3. And I know it's a smaller company and stuff like this takes time to be done, but once released people expect a working game. And World War 3 right now just doesn't provide that experience unfortunately. AAA titles nowadays face balance issues, performance issues and many other gameplay problems that World War 3 just doesn't have. But it literally fails at one thing that basically no other game has problems with and that is servers. So it really saddens me to make this video basically, but maybe some well-placed people at World War 3 will see this and try to push things a bit. As I said, I have great faith in World War 3 and I would play this any day of the week over Battlefield 2042 or even Modern Warfare 2, but at the moment it fails to reach a massive audience because of server problems, which is kind of a shame to be honest. Hopefully this week more things will be fixed and improved and this game can be finally playable for everybody. I've definitely seen some leaks and hints here and there about possible fixes coming this week and about the fact that Farm 51 already know what the problems are and what is causing them and hopefully they're gonna get fixed ASAP. But now I want you guys to comment below what are your thoughts on this, if you enjoy the game in the time you actually spend playing, because I know it's not much, I definitely didn't have enough time to play this as well, I've definitely spent hours and hours just trying to reach the menu and play a few games, but I'm not gonna lie, as I always said, whenever I'm, tr I'm actually playing the game, 
it's just so much fun. It's just such a good game and can definitely compete with all the bigger AAA titles. But right now it just falls a bit short because of these stupid errors because I cannot literally call them anything else. But that's it about today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. And just let me know in the comments your thoughts. But right now I'm going to let you guys enjoy some highlights from my playtime. So with that being said, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy.